My name is uh, Luc Le Foresti. I'm civil engineer. I'm working at SICA as uh, corporate uh, target market flooring. And I am in charge of development of the SICA comfort floor for the SICA worldwide. SICA comfort floor are floor covering, resin based. They are liquid applied. Uh, you see how it's, it could be applied and they are full of colors. Sika Comfort Floor are uh, the so-called perfect floors because it's a very good balance between comfort and robustness. Uh, comfort because the material is soft, but in the meantime it's also rigid. So we can use it in many uh, ISO classes, for instance, even for uh, high traffic, uh, pedestrian traffic, or like in France classifications, the UPEC classifications, so we are stand the highest uh, UPEC classification with comfort floors. So with SICA comfort floor, we have a lot of freedom. So we have a lot of freedom in the, in the form because the uh, application is a liquid, so it's a liquid applied flooring systems. So we will follow all the shape of the, of the rooms. It will even go from one room to the other one without any interruptions. The other freedom we have is in the colors. So we have a color chart we can use. We can also even use a raw color or even NCS colors. Um, we're quite, quite free in, in uh, selecting the colors. For instance, if someone gets a, a kitchen with some furniture inside and is looking for the right uh, floor covering, with Sika Comfort Floor, you just ask us for the color and we will propose it to you. Sika Comfort Floor are very, very robust systems. And the reason is because they are fully adhering to the concrete or to the screen. So it's not possible to, to debunk uh, a Sika Comfort Floor. It's not possible to, to, to eliminate it without touching the concrete. So, this is why Sika Comfort Floor have a very, very long life cycle time. And this can even be extended because we can put a new layer of a thin layer of uh, the main materials and extend the life cycle for, for an additional 10 or 20 years. Yes, this is maybe the first impression, but uh, I tell you, makes experience with uh, samples of Sika Comfort Floor. A Sika Comfort Floor is uh, smooth, but anyway, it's still slightly slip resistant because it's soft. So you get the same kind of materials like a sport shoe sole. You know, the soft materials you get when you go for, for sport. And this is give you an anti-slip effect. Uh, anyway, if you really get uh, wet rooms, we can adapt the rugosity of the, of the top sealer to get a little more, even more slip resistance. Sika Comfort Floor are already hygienic floors. And this is for various reasons. First, it's because it's seamless. There is no joint. There is no angles, no welding. So the floor covering adapt is liquid, so it adapts itself to the form of the room. So there is no, no place where you get an hygienic uh, development possible. Secondly, the surface of the Comfort Floor is smooth and easy to to, uh, to clean and to maintain. So yes, we can say Sika Comfort Floor are really hygienic floors. So the application of the Sika Comfort Floor is mainly in three steps. The first step is uh, a primer, which is a, a, a installed directly on the concrete or on the screen. And this primer gives uh, the bonding uh, characteristic. Then we have a, a main layer which is poured uh, on this primer in a one to two millimeter thickness, and then this layer will give the function of the, of the floor coverings. And then on top of it, we get uh, a top sealer, which can be colored or transparent, depending on the decorative effect we want. And for the acoustic versions, we have an additional rubber mat underneath, which gives the uh, acoustic performances. On top of this acoustic problem, we get a pore feeder to really uh, complete uh, the application. 
For sustainability, we look at first from the environmental point of view. For this, we proceed to a life cycle analysis, which means we are looking at the whole cycle uh, life from the product and calculate some uh, outcome like carbon footprint, energy demand, water demand. And this allows us to elaborate the so-called EPD, so for environmental product declaration. With this, we can compare Sika compound flow with other systems on the market like vinyl flow or linoleum. When we look at this uh, analysis, we see that first compound flow doesn't need any uh, leveling underlayment or doesn't need any adhesive because it's really directly liquid applied. And then we can get we need less materials and we have get good results in terms of carbon footprint, for instance. The initial cost for the Sika uh, comfort floor are very little compared to the overall cost at the end of the life of the, of the building. And for this, we should consider two criteria. The first one is uh, cleanability, and the second one is uh, durability. About cleanability, the Sika comfort floor are really easy to maintain and to clean compared to traditional floor programming solutions. So we talk about cleanability, it's really easy to clean, no doubt about it. And about durability, we have on the market experience from Sika Comfort Floor which have more than 30 years uh, life. Sika Comfort Floor is a very interesting investment if you look at the long term, whatever the floor covering you will install. And uh, if you look only at the short term, so Sika Comfort Floor are also less expensive that, uh, than any luxurious system on the market.